these games are gonna be the death of me. Hello friends and welcome to Friend of Files. Tonight we are playing Ex Animum The Silent Call. This is the third game that Perspective has made. We played two games by Perspective and they did really well on the other channel so you liked it and I love them. So let's try Perspective. I don't know anything about this game, I can look it up. Two seconds. On, uh, oh, damn it. Go to the store page. And I just read the description for it. Exanimum, the silent call, is a first person psychological horror game. In this chilling experience, you'll find yourself confronting terrifying mysteries and chilling secrets. Uh, so it's an indie psychological horror game, yep. The terrifying and bizarre events that happened to Jason and his daughter Jessica on the road to Greenfield Town are dragging them into this eerie adventure, leading, leading them into an unknown world. As Jason and Jessica venture deeper into the depths of the forest, an unsettling silence envelops their surroundings. The birds cease their songs, the fog thickens, and the rain intensifies. However, fear is silently approaching with every step they take, relentlessly pursuing them. The game immerses players in a creepy atmosphere by drawing them into dark areas with realistic sound effects and graphics. Psychological tension. Players experience tension-filled moments in a journey filled with terrifying secrets and threats. Fear could be approaching at any moment, providing players with constant suspense. So like I said, the other two games by Perspective, Perspective did extremely well on this channel. So thank you all for that support, the new subscribers and the likes and the comments. I greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, Let's play Exanimum The Silent Call. New game, please. Can I just play the game, please? Here we go. It's gonna be good. Why am I here? Because I'm going to play a game and make a YouTube video. I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that... Um, the hell is that? Oh, you're... You're in the game. What the hell's going on? Can I come out of it? Can I get out please? No? Okay, so we're in a... Mental asylum or something. Can I take a shit? No? Let me out of here please! Can I turn on the lights? <laughs> oh... Let me out of here please! Did someone just open the door? Hello? See, a perspective that they make epic effing horror games. As I know, they only made three games so far. But hopefully, hopefully they will make more. No? What the hell are we... 
Do I need to escape this place? Well, I would if I was if I was trapped in here. Hello. Guess we go down here. Into darkness. Do we have flashlight? Of course we don't. We just woke up in a mental asylum. Why would we have a flashlight? No? Director's office. Can I get a key or something in here? No? It's, it's freaking dark, man. Are you, uh, are you alright? There's no one there. All the crap. Oh, we can't get in here. Why couldn't I before? I had to see that first, I guess. I suppose. There's something on the desk. We have a key. Key. All right, uh, human psychology. Read the note. Subject, Jason Mercer. So we are Jason, yeah? Dear authorities, this note contains important information regarding the patient, Jason Mercer at St. Valentine's Hospital. Jason Mercer is a 37 year old man who has recently been admitted to our hospital. He is undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal and medical history. Oh, there's so much to read. I'm sorry, guys. We have to read this. You can read it yourself. You read faster and pause the video or something. <laughs> or totally skip it. Based on our observations at the hospital, we would like to highlight some important points about Jason Mercer. Jason is an extremely mysterious and introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. During his time at the hospital, Jason has been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally dis disassociating from reality. This raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. We do not have clear information about why and how Jason came to the hospital. He has not provided any explanation during our conversations with him. It is imperative that Jason Mercer's treatment and observation process be closely monitored. Additionally, strict adherence to hospital security protocols is essential. We request further investigation to obtain more information about Jason Mercer and his treatment. treatment. Sincerely, Nikolai Petrovich. So again, perspective, perspective. Made that game called again and again. I urge you to check my video on it if you haven't seen it. It was terrifying. and extremely disturbing story. I suppose this one is <laughs> just as disturbing. But it can't be worse than again and again. That was quite something. Hello? Can I call my mom? Five, five, five. No, I cannot. Okay, I cannot use my mouse, okay. But it's okay, this is a four digit, so this is not a phone, I suppose. Not really a phone. How do we get in there? There's something in there that we have to look at, some papers. That's where we came from, right? No, that's where we came from. So freaking dark, man. Can't see shit around here. God damn it. There's people screaming all around. Hey, 
There's a guy here. I didn't see him. Hello? Mister? Are you alright? Your hands and fingers don't look very right. What the hell is he saying? Something key? But maybe he was saying some digits or something, but no. Can I get the hell out of here, sir? Oh, there was the door. I didn't see it in the darkness. More to read. Yay. Oh, from the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. I heard the day started off like blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's something important, I think. The main phone rang with a call from the number 2120. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and the strange static noise could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time strange noises could be heard. I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the calls and report them to the security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed the security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such situations before. For the rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar calls still linger in my mind. So 2120. Let's try and call that number. Hello? Maybe we don't have to call it, it's calling us. <laughs> Alrighty then. 20, 21, and 20. Hello? And then how do we call? <laughs> Can we call it? That 120, please. That is an unsettling voice. Holy moly. What now? Can I get out of here, please? I don't belong in a mental asylum. I was just driving with my daughter and my wife. What the hell am I doing here, man? Can't go anywhere. We'll go back. Oh, now this... But this room was open all along. Oh, there must be something we have to do here, right? Can I get through here now? No? What kind of a mask are we wearing? Oh, there's a door here. So freaking dark. Can we turn off the brightness, maybe? Brickedness. Maybe up to 65. See how that, that looks. Maybe we'll be able to see something. Hmm? 
this? Is this the shitter? It is. But it was toilet stalls. Okay, can't open that one. Am I supposed to go in and take a shit? I am. <laughs> it's more or less sounds like he was washing his face in the toilet. Oh, we got a key. Key for that other toilet stall? No? We're here maybe? No? Oh, that dude is gone. Can we go out? We are free. We're on the streets. Why don't you take off the mask? Hello? Are you friendly? Are you this is a child. There was a child. Crap. Now, now it's there. I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. And she said, This is your fault. No, it ain't. I didn't do nothing. Hello? It was just a dream. It's just a badass nightmare, I suppose. Hopefully. Turn off the alarm, yeah I will. Don't worry about that. If I can get to it. Turn off the alarm please. Thank you. Jessica! You hear Jessica? Hello? Jessica? You can run, but you can't hide. Have you taken a bath? No? Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Okay. So she locks the door so I can't come in. And watch her change clothes. Isn't she my wife? Take care of your daily needs. Wash your face. Take a shower. Use the restroom. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. We have to take a shower. And wash our face. Does that make any sense? Don't you wash your faces when you shower? Let's take a leak. Or number two. No, taking a leak. Take a bath. Ready then. Are you ready, Jessica? Hello? I didn't close this. Hello? It's the phone downstairs, right? You can eat an apple if you want. Hello? The caller was Emily, Sarah's mother. She was asking if we could come to the birthday party. We were about to hit the road. 
Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you about to be effing ready, Jessica? You have to hit the road. Hello. So hit the road. Do we have to go out? Get into our car? Something? Is that it? Okay, we are locked inside our own house. <laughs> so if this is America, are you, oh, we can play the piano. Then there should be a door that leads into the garage, right? Isn't that very typical? Yeah, what did I say? After taking the flashlight, get into the car. I don't need a flashlight. I have my wife. Take it. Collect. Get to the car. Get into the car. Thank you. We were running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shorter forest road. But a tree had blocked our path. But that sucks. You can turn on flashlight by pressing the F key. Here we are. Not going to move this, that's for sure. Some lights over here. Hello? Do we just go exploring then? <laughs> Is that it? Hold on, Jessica. Just stay in the car. I'm going to explore. I suppose. Maybe. So I guess there's no voice acting in this game. Who did we call? Ghostbusters? <laughs> Why are we just wandering off? <laughs> no. What the hell is this place? It's a big ass mansion. Bandit mansion or something. Hello? Oh, I don't like the eerie music. Hello? Is this how, how you would proceed? If you were stuck in the forest, you know? A tree was blocking the road. You just wander off. To some random place. I'll turn around and find another way, maybe. Hello? Oh, shit. Flashlight is malfunctioning. There's light in here. Is there a squatter or something living in here? Hello? 
What does this say? Can I read it from the other side maybe? In God we will... I can't read that. In God we will trust. We will make it. Where does the sound come from? Is, that, is it the TV? Now TV is off. Someone watching us? Oh! Is that a photo of us arriving here? Hello? Hello? I guess it's this clock, yeah. Hello? So someone is here. But where? Hello? I think we need to get the hell out of here. Just a lamp. Hello? Don't be scaring me, please. I don't see the doors. Oh, we have a flashlight. No, I see the doors. Hello? It's freaking blood. Sorry, neighbors. Someone screaming. Is that Jessica? Hold on, Jess. I'm coming. Hello? Let's get the hell out of here, man. We are not welcome here. Oh, shit. Someone with glowing eyes. Hello? Jessica? Holy toaster, man. That's just the thunder. Na 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 thunder. Na 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 thunder. Jessica, you alright, babe? Jessica is not here. Oh no. Oh no. They took Jessica. Hello? I heard that screaming. Now this is open. Hello? I will forget about Jessica and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Make a U-turn with the car and get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Don't be scaring me like that. What the hell was that? You know, Jessica is dead. Let's just turn around. Is 
so scary as shit now. Hello? Where the hell are we going? I'm just following the lampposts. I suppose that's what we have to do. Flashlight lying around here. Is that Jessica's? No, it's <laughs> okay, luckily it's not so late that my neighbors have gone to sleep. Suicide. What do you mean suicide? I won't commit suicide. What the hell? What do you mean suicide? Are you urging me to commit suicide? It's not gonna happen, dude. the old house it's gonna be bad B -b 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 bad Jessica are you in here hello let me in Please. I have to find a key. Is there a flower pot or something around here? No? Okay. Let's try and move around the house. See if there's a back door or something. Imagine being here in real life and experiencing this shit. Oh, there's a back door. Can I come in here, please? I can. By searching for Jessica, I found a house. Perhaps she could be here. He's be working. So, the flashlight. So I don't see a damn thing. Did that work? Oh. I did turn on the lights in here though. Oh, can we turn on the lights in here as well? No. We have a note. Yay, more reading. What? I had to read? Can we... Read our notes? Here. Read the note. 
<clears throat> Today I got lost again. Those grey clouds are hovering above me, enveloping my soul. The medications as if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind. But how effective they are, I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind. It feels like it's getting heavier every day. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer. A mere figure existing on the edge of life. Even though I'm in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. My journal is a kind of internal scream. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing seems to alleviate, alleviate this weight, if only a little. Yet, even among these pages, I feel lost. Maybe this loneliness could lead me to find someone. Perhaps in this place where I am lost, I can find a glimmer of hope, a light. Maybe. What does this mean? Who wrote this? Who the hell wrote this note? I don't know what that means. Well, I do know what it means, but... Can, I don't know who wrote it. You know? Hello? Jessica? Are you in here? You are missing something. You're missing half of your effing body, dude. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Do I have to find this head and put it on? Oh, oh. Hello? Holy crap. This is typical perspective, you know. Games are just getting increasingly, increasingly disturbing. You know, as we go through them. Can I have some lights? Thank you. Jessica? Oh, it's effing dark, man. Oh, it's a child's room. Okay. Suppose we need a bulk cutter or something here. Hello? 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 I don't want to go into a it's very dark and yeah, no, no effing shit, man. I wouldn't just go into a room like this and we just heard all that rumbling. Well, I can't go in here, okay. Because it's so dark. Can we find a working flashlight or something? No? Maybe. Can't we just turn on the lights or something here? No, there's no light switch around here. No chance, huh? I'm not going in there. Oh. 
Holy crap. Hello? There are two headless people. And one guy with a head. Three headless people. Hello? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Can I get out of here, please? Can I get out of here? I don't want to be here anymore. Please let me out. <laughs> Shit, man. Let's not turn off the lights in here. I don't see shit. Hello? Want the eggs? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, don't. I'm trying to hit that. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Can I go home now, please? So is that some kind of a cannibal or something? Eating people's, people's heads? someone like opening a door or something you know you know the locks of a door someone open one of these doors maybe yep hello can i have some lights more lights Moses, man. It's just a head watching TV. Okay, we got a key, I think. No! Phone's ringing. Oh no, more photos. Again and again. That's the game I was talking about. That's that little girl, that poor girl. What a terrifying story that was. Can I see that other photo as well? It's super difficult to interact with stuff. Here. I can't look at the phone, maybe... Maybe I can do it later, I hear this. Xanimum, the silent call. What are these? Are these... Is this like Betamax or something? No, they're much bigger, huh? Hello? I don't know where's the f where the phone's at. Here it is. How can you call? The horn is off. <gasps> you said I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm effing scared, guys. I'm right behind you. Do we want to turn around? I really don't want to. 
There's no one behind me. Who's crying? Hello? Do we want to draw the curtains here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's very dark. I don't see shit. Out of here, please! Holy crap, this is disturbing. Don't just be knocking. I can't. I can't open the door for you. Can't get out. Suicide. Suicide. Hello? Are you all right behind there? We're done taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> These games are gonna be the death of me. Holy air fryer, dude. Can I go home now, please? I don't like the sound of this. Can we go into this room now? Will there be light? There will be no light. Okay. It's like a demonic sound or something. Please let me leave. I want to go home. I don't want to stay here anymore. So I think the door out was over here somewhere. Eh? Are we locked in this house? <laughs> Yay. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Not the door. The switch. There we go. That didn't help any. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I have another note. I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggled to put on paper. The echoes of my daughter still intoxicate my soul. And I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of grey, even if just a little. But life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. What I did was not intentional, confronting the truth from time to time. Reflecting on what I had done and what I couldn't do feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe you can't understand. Perhaps no one will read these lines. But you should know that it wasn't my choices, but the circumstances beyond, beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am a lost soul, but maybe one day, these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. I have no clue at all. Oh, that was the ball cutter, right? Where did we find 
that door that we have needed a ball cutter. That wasn't even here. That was in that first place we were in, right? Does that mean I can get away from here now? No? Please let me out. I think that was the ball cutter, right? Is there anything else in here? It's so dark, I don't see. Shit, dude. Hold on, baby. So what the hell happened? Also about resources. King. Safe house in Indiana. Where the hell? Can I... Can I go home now? <laughs> no? So this is the only room I haven't been able to enter. Mm -hmm. It's very dark. No shit, it's dark. I think I got the ball cutter. I should be able to to get out of here, right? And go to oh, maybe we use it here. <laughs> maybe it wasn't in that other place we were in in the beginning. What might we find in here? hell is this? Can they open this other one? What the hell does this mean? What? What the hell is this supposed to mean, man? Can you guys make any sense of it? I sure can't. Why can't we open this one? Okay, I have no clue what. I even need a ball cutter just to see that. What does that even mean? Did I close this door? It's very dark. I wanna go home now, please. Oh. Look at this. does these things mean? I can't do anything with it or anything. I have a padlock key for something. Examine. Okay. Okay, we have seen this one and we have that thing upstairs. What the hell do they mean? No clue. Hello?
Can I get out of here or something? Is that it? Please let me out. I don't know. But I know this this is a game that saves. And we have already been playing for almost an hour. So I think this video will be in two parts. And if you watch so far, I am extremely grateful. And if you did, why not like and subscribe to the video if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.